What up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. I just got back from Home Depot right now. This is the cheapest stuff that I can find that we can make a new trunk floor out of. Bruh, bruh, what the fuck? Was this you? Was this you leaving little puddles inside of my garage again? What is this? We talked about this, man. Like a child, dude. It's like a freaking child, I swear. <sighs> In the Q&A video that we most certainly got the trunk of this car as clean as it could possibly be. Uh, you guys know that the little, this this little floor thing, I mean, it's just, it beat the shit, bro. And I think that's mold. I, sw I swear, I think that's mold. Definitely smells like it. Anyhow, that thing is shot. So that is the reason why I got this. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I got this and I got a hinge. There's a little hinge that we can use to, because it's obviously going to be two pieces. I also got a piece of slotted angle because we might need this. I, I was thinking this will probably come in handy for whenever we're mounting up the train horn. <laughs> That's right, dude. It's a freaking train horn. So I got this a long time ago for Max, and I've been sitting on this whole setup since we moved out of the freaking rental house, man. It's been like a year and a half now that this has just been sitting and I've been dying to install it on something. Think about it. You're walking down the street, all of a sudden someone scares the living hell out of you with a train horn and you turn and you look and you see this sitting there, Max. Oh, dude, bro, come on. Sorry, man. Yeah, you see this sitting there. You're gonna know it came from that, right? But you hear a train horn and you turn around and there's a little Honda Civic sitting there. I, you're, you're not gonna immediately think that that came from this. You know what I'm saying? Think that it'll make for some very hilarious content. Just scaring the living hell out of people, bro. Uh, some of you might not like that. Go ahead, throw it in the comments if you want. But it's gonna happen. It's happening, I'm sorry. Really simple dude we got the old trunk floor sitting on top of our new material uh, I have my foam laid down so it's gonna make it a lot easier to cut it out with our jigsaw so now we're just using the old one as a stencil I'm gonna go around and just mark it with a sharpie and then we can remove it get it cut out and then move on to our next step now if you notice I have it over as far to the left as I can and all the way to the back so that I can preserve as much material as I can because who knows, we might use this for something else in the future. I think that'll do for a handle, bro. We don't need that big old freaking slot. All right, so I got this hinge from Home Depot and I got a solid hinge like this so that because in, in my theory, if I was to do like individual hinges, it could possibly flex in between. I want to be able to connect this piece and this piece and it be pretty much like a solid piece, you know what I mean? So I figured that this hinge would um, provide a little bit more stability. And I've got this piece of aluminum, a little sheet of aluminum that I grabbed out my backyard. Dude, when it comes to aluminum like this, I'm a freaking hoarder, bro. I won't throw any of it away. I have a stack of this shit that whenever I worked at my old shop, he had like literally like 50 pieces like this that he was about to throw away. Well, they, they take them to the scrap yard and I asked my old boss if I can have them. And he's like, I don't care. As long as you're not going to sell them, Bravis, you can have them if you're going to use them. <laughs> He was Polish and he had a very strong accent, though I'm sure that didn't sound anything like a Polish accent. Yeah, I'm going to cut this up into some smaller sizes and use my brake over there to bend it up and basically make some little brackets to help stiffen this. I'm not going to bore you guys with the process of that. I'm also going to try to save myself a little bit of camera work by not recording that. And I'll just catch up with you guys whenever I get them done. I don't know, dude. I think it came out pretty... 
Pretty legit, man. I mean, it looks like it's freaking factory, right? Other than the shiny ass hinge, but here's the little brackets that I made for the backside. It's just basically just the flat bar and I bent it up on the edges so that it will like add some stability, some strength. Um, and also you see all the screws are sticking down. I'll probably end up grinding those off so that they're not sharp points sticking in there. But anyhow, uh, I have the hinge on top because the hinge is the, the hinge is metal and then we have the aluminum on the back so that this stuff is actually sandwiched in between them because you guys already know that these screws would just pull out of this shit because this stuff's actually pretty weak. Got the spare tire loaded back up in here. Got the jack in the little spot where it's supposed to go nice and tight. And then I also found this little pouch to put the, uh, the tools in so now I don't have to worry about the clanking and rattling sound coming from back here there it is with our new cover in and it hinges up freaking clean dude i love it i love it my little hole my little hole right there finger. the carpet came out really clean too but you guys aren't going to see that until we actually get done uh with what it is that we have to do so now i'm going to move on bro <laughs> move on from the most exciting part of the video right it's all in the details, bro. The little things. Little things make a huge difference. My goal for tonight is to get as much of this mounted as I possibly can. Um, you guys, just so you guys understand, for me to be able to upload videos as consistent as I have been, uh, sometimes I, I run out of time, bro, because I, I start on this stuff whenever I get off of work, and then I only have a few short hours, man. And if it's kind of an extensive install like this, the, the likelihood of me actually finishing it is pretty slim. So it's I'm faced with a decision to either record multiple days in a row until it's actually done and put it all together in a video, or I can just film my progress, finish it up for the night, and then pick up in the next video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, leave it in the comments down below what you guys would rather see. I'm gonna try a different style right now. Like, so I'm gonna try to get as far as I possibly can uh, before it gets too late. Then I'll get in there and edit this video, post it up for you guys. And then tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off, man. Um, that'll, that'll help me to try to stay a little bit more consistent. Or would you guys rather me just skip a couple of days here and there as far as videos and actually post up like finishing more extensive stuff like this? I mean, it's all up to you. So now as far as this air horn, man, there are three major components that we have to figure out where to mount them. Because all three of them are pretty damn big, dude. So you have the air tank, obviously. This is what fills up with air. This is the compressor. This is what compresses the air into the air tank. And then you have the horns. The compressor needs to be able to screw into the tank. And then out of the tank, you have this little fitting. And then that's what you have this line right here for. That has to run to right here on the horns. So basically all this stuff has to be able to connect to one another. And from what I understand, the further that you have the horns away from the air tank, uh, the weaker it is, you know what I'm saying? I think for the most part, we're gonna keep all of this stuff in the back side of the car, dude, because you guys already know there, ain't, there isn't gonna be any room underneath the hood for it, so. But basically, the only room that we have on this car is in the back, uh, underneath the tire carrier, in which, hence is the reason why I've been spending all this time getting this all cleaned up. And then underneath the car, we have these big pockets on each side of the tire carrier. So that is a, that is a pretty decent amount of room for mounting stuff, man. But just so you guys know, I'm gonna have to drill some holes, man. I'm gonna have to drill some holes. It is a very small sacrifice for something I think is definitely gonna be pretty damn cool and a lot of freaking fun. As far as the air tank, I have noticed that it does fit inside of here. Uh, if you lay it on its side and we point the mounting bracket towards the back, and on the other side of this obviously is the bumper, so you won't be able to see any of these holes once we get them drilled. And it does fit underneath this board that we just made, so that's freaking perfect. You won't be able to see it. The pump, on the other hand, this thing, uh, it will not fit underneath here. I don't know. I'm going to play with some ideas, move things around here and there. Whenever I get a game plan, I'll update you guys.
All right, so far I got the mounting for the tank fin uh, figured out. I got two bolts right here and what I did was I drilled the holes and I put the bolt through with a washer on each side and then I put a nut. So now those bolts are like solid right there. So it's basically like a stud sticking up. And then if you look on the side of this bracket, these holes were already here from somebody mounting this thing on the side previously. If you guys didn't notice, this is a used kit. I did buy this used. Um, it's definitely not brand new. So hell, hopefully it even works, man. Shit. But anyhow, I'm, I'm not gonna bolt it down yet until we get all the lines and everything all connected, but all I'll have to do is literally just slide this over the studs. One-handed, like a pro. No. <laughs> See, just slide it over the studs and then we'll put a washer and a nut on each one of those and this thing will be solid as hell and you know what i really like about it as well is this is the spot inside of the trunk where it's actually got that sound deadening like that tar stuff so um that should kind of help with like vibration of this thing sitting against the body down there and also bam dude it's gonna shut we'll put our carpet over it ready for groceries Man, my arm's getting tired as hell. One more up. mention i love this thing oh and fuck my neighbors <laughs> all right so what we've got done is we got the tank mounted the tank is now solid mounted because i have both lines hooked up um i had to drill a hole right here for the uh for the air hose to go through and for the power wires to come in from the actual compressor itself and whenever we're all said and done i will be filling this hole right here with silicone to to watertight basically so no water or anything can get in uh this is our hose that's going to run over here uh, I will have to drill one more small hole on this side and then that's going to run out and it'll actually go to the horns. And then dude, it just shuts and then the carpet will go over this and you won't see a damn thing. And as far as the compressor itself, it is these four tiny little nuts right here, bro. That's it. And the carpet's going to cover that up. Compressor itself, I have to say, I, I think so far I'm the most proud of because this came out clean as hell. Dude. Check out that freaking install. It sits tucked up in there. It doesn't hang down past the bumper. Like, it's protected behind the mud flap. I mean, of course, it'll probably get some stuff that will get flung up on it. But remember, this thing is actually designed to mount underneath the car. Uh, previous to me owning this, a guy had it mounted underneath his truck. So, And then the line comes off and it goes into the car. And then I've got it tied right here. Uh, clamp down nice and tight so the line can't wiggle around and then this is our positive and our negative that goes in and I also got it clamped down and I didn't put them together because I'm not sure whether it will or not but I think that this line could possibly get hot so I didn't run the so I didn't put the wires and the actual airline in the same clamp together I have them running separate but dude 
I think this just came out super freaking clean, man. All right, but it's starting to get late and I gotta get in there and start editing so that you guys can even have this video for tomorrow. The only thing that we have left to do is we have to wire everything and we have to mount the horns. I haven't mounted the horns yet because check this out. I wanna actually show you guys something and I'm dead ass serious about this. I really do want your guys' opinion. Uh, you're probably gonna think that I'm freaking joking, but I'm not joking a single little bit. I wanna know if you guys think that this looks as cool as I think that it kinda does. All right, so I have designated this side of the car for mounting the horns. Now I can mount them up in here. See, I can mount them in here just like that and you can't see a thing. But I was also kind of messing with it, and I thought, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I feel like you guys are going to hate on me for this. Dude. I seriously don't think that that look. I mean, it looks freaking crazy. Don't get me wrong. This looks freaking ridiculous, right? But... I think it looks ridiculous enough to actually be kind of cool, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, I got the jack kind of holding it up so that I can actually give you guys a little bit more angles. But um, I can get them to tuck in a little bit closer. It's just I can't with them on the jack. So that's basically the best I can get it so I can walk around. But it, it would be really easy to mount them like this to where they're actually sticking out. And I don't know, I might... I might actually paint them black if we were to do this. <laughs> and of course, we could try it like this, and if it gets to be a little, I mean, I think it looks kind of funny right now, but I, what I think would really look, what I think it's missing is the fact that the car is up in the air right now. If it was actually slammed down on the ground, and and how close those are gonna be to the ground, I don't know, dude. I think it'll look pretty sick. <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. Video guys, I'm gonna continue working on this and try to get it finished tomorrow. So put it in the comments down below what it is you think. Let me know if you guys are as excited about the train horn as I am. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, dude, just to go around and mess with people. Hopefully no one shoots at me, no. But you know, I got, I got my garage all cleaned up and I basically got my stuff all prepped and ready. So tomorrow when I get off work, we can get we can go ahead and hit this hard and try to get it done, dude. Well, certainly if you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Whoosh.